In this video, I will show you how to use your PlayStation controller on Xbox Game Pass PC. To do this, you will need to download a third-party application called DS4, which helps your PC recognize your PlayStation controller. To do that, go over to your browser. Now, once you have gotten to your browser, select one of the search boxes and write DS4, then press the Enter button. Now, open up the link at the top, and once you get into the website, Navigate to the top right and press the download button. Now press the download button once again right here and the download will begin automatically. Now after the download is finished, you can minimize or close your browser. I'll close it. Then go to the bottom left and open up your file explorer. Then go into downloads and drag out the file that we just downloaded to your desktop. Once you have done that, double left click and open up the file. Then press extract all. Then select where you want the folder to be extracted at. I'll choose my desktop and press extract. Now once that has finished, we can close both of these and open up your extracted folder. After you open it up, you go into the DS4 Windows folder and click this application. Double left click it, it will open up. Then right here, you will need to choose where you want your profile and settings to be saved. Program folder or app data. I'll just choose program folder. And right here, you will need to choose your device. If you're using a PlayStation 4 controller, check DualShock 4. If you're using a PS5, check DualSense. Or if you're using a PlayStation 3 controller, check DS3. I'm using a PlayStation 4, so I'll check the top option, then press the close button. After you press the close button, this application will open up. And press the step 1 button at the top to install the Vegan Bus driver. After you press it, this installer will open up, then press the next button. Right here, choose where you want it to be installed at, and make sure you read the license terms and conditions, and if you agree with them, check this box, then press the next button. Then press the install button, and now press the finish button. Now you can scroll down and look at these other options, but they are not necessary for this tutorial, so I'll just press the finish button right here. And after you have done that, now you can connect your controller to your PC. You can connect your controller using a wire or Bluetooth. Firstly, we will explain how to connect your controller using a wired method. To do that, take your PlayStation controller charger, plug the USB part of it into your PC and the other part into your controller. Now, after you have done that, press the start button and your PC should detect your controller. Here is mine. And now you can jump into a game. If you're using a Bluetooth method, just go to the bottom left, press the search button and write Bluetooth. Then open up the application at the top, then go over to the top and press the plus sign, then choose everything else. Now you need to make sure that your controller is in pairing mode. To put it into pairing mode, just press and hold both the PlayStation button and the share button at the same time. After it appears, just select it and you will have connected your controller. Then open up the DS4 application and press the start button right here. Connecting your controller using a Bluetooth method will only work if you have a Bluetooth dongle connected to your PC or your motherboard supports Bluetooth connection. If you don't have either of those, you can just close this, connect your controller using a wired method. Here we are in the Game Pass application on our PC. I'll try running Minecraft. And here we are inside of Minecraft. As you can see, I can move around using my controller. I can jump around, I can attack, I can do anything that I want. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.